Could you explain what you're involved with? I guess I've come through a, journey, a long journey as an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, academic, etc. And um, the one thing that I think, well, there are two, two aspects here. One, there really are very few entrepreneurs in the world. I think everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Everybody has some inclination to be entrepreneurial. But, um, you know, the theme of this conference is the courage to dare. And I have to say, a lot of people are scared. They are risk averse, and it is hard for them to take that plunge. But they very much want to contribute to the world, and they want to contribute to being part of organizations that are fundamentally innovative and philosophically positive. And so what we do within where we are uh, in the business school, in the Said Business School, and also at Columbia Business School where I teach, is to really bring those different spheres together. They're the entrepreneurs that are the rare breed that is going to go out there and really the visionary, et cetera. But usually, they're not great managers. And they need a team of people that can really operationalize that dream. And so we, um, I think, in the evolution of the thinking that we have done, we have really recognized that it's, the team is as important as the entrepreneur. It takes the entrepreneur to give the vision but it takes the team to actually make that happen. And we see that more and more and more. And um, we also see it now, excitingly enough, within companies. A lot of our um, students, uh, the thing that's very exciting about young people today, and it's really worldwide, is they don't want to separate where they make their money and where they do good. They want to bring these two spheres together. And they really want to have an impact. There's, there's a wonderful uh, poet, Mary Oliver, an American poet, who has a wonderful question that I think we should all be asking us, which is, so what are you going to do with your one and precious life? And I think that very few of us have really asked ourselves that question. We just sort of careen through our careers and, you know, follow this kind of treadmill of, 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 of achievement where, you know, what we make and where we work and et cetera is the most important thing. Um, and I think that young people are now beginning to really reflect, is that the path they want to take? I see, uh, I see it in the kind of recruitment that's done today. So we really try and inspire young people to say, whatever career path you take, you should be entrepreneurial but you may not be an entrepreneur. I think if the world were filled with entrepreneurs, we'd go nuts. <laughs> I mean, having spent a lot of time with entrepreneurs, these are very unusual people. Um, so, you know, I would pity anybody married to an entrepreneur. That's what my husband so. says. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. At any rate, but the thing is, that entrepreneurs need, need people who are going to support that, that vision. So I think that that's one of the things that we don't talk enough about. You know, we glorify the heropreneur, but what about the team? Anyway. Okay, so